Gotcha, you little piece of shit! I don't know if you're a toy or a stuffed animal or whatever the hell. Either way, I'm gonna rip you to fucking shreds! What? The violence against the headmaster is in violation of school regulations! Shut the fuck up! Let me out of here, I swear to Christ! Welcome everybody to the Falcon One Shot. On the agenda, we have Dangan Rompa, Trigger Happy Havoc. This is a really weird game for me to be checking out, I will admit. But I have heard about this Dangan Rompa franchise series, whatever you want to go with here for a while now. It used to be on Sony exclusive for the most part. This right here is the Steam release of, I want to say, the first game in the long-running series so far. Maybe semi-long-running series, I'm not really too entirely sure. But I've heard of Danganronpa for a long time, I've seen images, I've read about it. I never actually checked it out myself, it just didn't really seem something that appealed to my liking. But, it's on Steam now, and I figure, you know what, let me finally give this a try and see what the whole hubbub is about. So that was, um, highly cute and disturbing at the same time. I, I really do not claim to know anything about this game, nor franchise. What I do understand, though, it is kind of like a game that revolves around a kind of a battle royale mentality where the point is to kill the other students in order to graduate, if I'm right over here. And uh, it has, obviously it's really dark in that regard, but it also has like a really twisted sense of humor as well, as we probably noted by a teddy bear sending a guy into space and he's coming back and he's like a skeleton. So yeah, it's really, really dark, but it has like a really twisted sense of humor as well, which is kind of like the, the charm of the game apparently. And then there's also kind of like Phoenix Wright-ish maybe type of puzzles where you're supposed to kind of um, take evidence and use it in your favor. It, uh, it's kind of like a... Uh, Small little overview of how the game plays out. I'm not really too familiar with it, so I'm just kind of telling you what I've read and what I understand from what I've read. Um, the massive high school towers over all the other buildings in this bustling urban area. It's like the school stands at the center of the entire world. Hope's Peak Academy. It brings in top students from every field imaginable, a government-funded school of privilege. They say that if you come here and manage to graduate, you'll be set for life. With hundreds of years of tradition, it sends the cream of the crop into the workforce every year. It was built to raise hope in the nation's future, which makes Hope's Peak a pretty fitting name. Uh, there are two things you need to attend this school. One, you have to already be attending high school. Two, you have to be very best at be the very best at what you do. No ordinary student could enroll here. The only way in is if you're scouted by the school itself. And standing there at the gate of the ultimate school filled with the ultimate students... It was me. Before we go any farther, I guess I should introduce myself. My name's Makoto Naegi. As you can see, I'm nothing but a hopelessly average high school student. You also kind of look like something out of Yu-Gi-Oh. A little bit. It's kind of weird. Um, average on the outside, average on the inside. I really don't know much going, I don't really have much going for me when it comes to grades, special abilities, even personality. I mean, yeah, I have hobbies and stuff I like to do, but it's not like I'm a psychic or mutant or whatever. That's a good thing I would probably imagine. Like, if you ask me what my favorite song was or my favorite movie or TV show, they'd all just be whatever's most popular at the particular moment. Oop. Okay, don't hit that button. Even among the other average, I'm completely average, so I can't even say I'm your everyday hero type. That's just who I am. Anyway, I figure it's always good to introduce yourself right off the bat. Well, thank you. There is an audience after all, Makoto. But you know, if I have any kind of strong point, so to speak, I'd say I'm a little more gung-ho than other people. Alrighty, Daredevil, a risk taker. I mean, look at me, I'm completely ordinary, but still, here I am sitting in front of the standing in front of the anything but ordinary Hope's Peak Academy. I still can't believe I'm standing here. I wonder if someone like me can survive in a place like this. It's got this overwhelming presence, like it's trying to swallow me whole. But it's no wonder I would feel that way. What you have to understand is... Well, let me just tell you about the preparation I did last night to get ready for today. <laughs> Are you on an anonymous board, dude? Seems that way. It totally is. Well, and everybody's named Anonymous, huh? What gave it away, Falcon? Oh, you know. I'm very perceptive. Makoto's Naegi, um, 
Hope's Peak only invites these students who are truly elite in their field. It's such a popular topic, there are threads online dedicated to talking about the school's attendees. So to prepare, I looked up some of those threads. And all I saw was talk about ultimate students who were way beyond your average high schooler. Hey, baby. Uh, for example, one incoming student is the ultimate pop sensation. She's in high school and a pop sensation, huh? Yeah, must be nice. Uh, I guess she's a high school girl who's also the lead singer for a pop group famous all over the country. Why are you doing in school, man? Just live it up. Make all that money, save, and you retire early. Uh, there's also the ultimate baseball star. He was the cleanup hitter for the national high school champs. Pro teams already have their eyes on him. Matter up. And he twisted that ball up pretty good, didn't he? And then there's the ultimate fashionista. Fashionista. Oh, I know what you are. You're an idol. Yeah. I know some Japanese culture. Don't think I don't know anything about Japanese culture. That's an idol. Damn idol, all right. Uh, she's been on the cover of tons of fashion magazines. She's what every high school girl wants to be. Hmm. Oh, who is this guy? What's going on with your hair, dog? Oh, and they mentioned the ultimate biker gang leader, too. The scary thing is, he's the de facto leader of every biker gang in Japan. Gangs everywhere love the guy. What are you doing in school? I'd be terrified for my life. On top of that, there's the ultimate martial artist, the ultimate fanfic creator, the ultimate gambler, the ultimate swimming pro, the ultimate programmer, the ultimate clairvoyant, and then some... Reading that made me realize how totally powerless I was, and it was the country's finest top to bottom. I felt like a tame little house cat who'd wandered into a pride of lions. But still, there was something I couldn't stop thinking about. You see, there were few students who I couldn't find any information on, no matter how much I looked. With all these ultimate students, I'm the only one without any kind of worthwhile talent. But then, what about those other new students who didn't seem to pop up anywhere? Could they just be average students like me without any talent or anything? That thought was kind of encouraging. I mean, I know I don't have much in the way of personality, but beyond that, there's an even bigger issue. How did such an unbelievably average student like me get picked to come to this ultimate high school? I mean, I guess there is a reason. You just have to take one glance at the acceptance letter they sent me to see why. We recently held a lottery to select one ordinary student to attend her school. As a result, you have been selected and we invite you to join us as the ultimate lucky student. They spell it out plainly as day. I got invited by pure luck. Yeah, that would probably imply ultimate lucky student. Honestly, I probably would have been better off just declining their offer. But after hearing how graduating was a guarantee for success later in life, I couldn't say no. But then, actually, standing in there in front of the school, I started to feel lost, like I didn't belong there. I could feel myself losing my nerve, but still, I can't just stand here in front of the gate forever. That's what I'm thinking, dude. Just get in there already. Frozen in place, murmuring to myself, I looked down at the acceptance letter clutched in my hand. It said there'd be a meeting for all the incoming students in the main hall at 8 a.m. The meeting still isn't for a little while, but I should probably just head in. Yeah, yeah, let's do this. I gathered up all my determination and tried to act like I'd done this a million times before. And I took my first step towards the main hall. Alright. Yeah, I'm pretty sure people are looking at you through the window and being like, What the hell are you doing? You're standing there, dog. Just get in here. You weirdo. This is where we're supposed to meet, right? I guess I'm the first one here. There's a really elegant clock over in the corner. It says it's 7.10 a.m. The meeting doesn't start until 8 o'clock, so there's still a full 50 minutes left. It makes sense nobody else would be here yet. I was so wound up, I got here way too early. You know what? I'm the same way. I actually get to all of my appointments early. Like, I just like to be there beforehand just to kind of relax, chill, whatever I'm going for, doctor's appointment, work. I just need the time to just kind of, you know, unwind. I have plenty of time before the meeting. Just standing around waiting isn't exactly... I should take a look around the school. Maybe that'll help me calm down a little. I am a student here now, so there shouldn't be any problem with me having a look around, right? It'll help me kill some time, if nothing else. Oh, nice use of the word kill. Trying to play it cool, I took my first step into Host Peak Academy. It was also my first step towards starting a new life at a new school. At least, that's what I was hoping for. Oh, how things change, huh? What the hell's happening here? What the? But the instant I took that first step forward, my view became warped, twisted. It was like some kind of delusion melting away and mixing together into something else. Spinning, mixing, melting away, then spinning again. And the next moment, everything went black. That was how it all began. And how life as I knew it came to an end. At that point, I should have realized. 
The reason I was brought to Hope's Peak Academy wasn't because I had ultimate good luck. It was so I could experience ultimate despair. Well, it says welcome to despair for a reason, I would say. Prologue. All right. Are you speaking now, or am I... I, I do this. Okay. You're not talking. Sometimes they talk, sometimes they don't. It kind of weirds me out a bit. Uh, where am I? I woke up with my head resting on top of a hard wooden desk. My body feels... heavy. It's pretty normal for me to zonk off in the middle of some boring class or whatever, but... What was I doing asleep here just now? This isn't a classroom I've ever been in before. What the heck is going on? Notice how the, um... Happy-go-lucky music's gone, and we have, like, this weird sinister type of thing in the background now. Welcome to Hope's Peak Academy. Firstly, we'd like to explain the basic controls. You can use the left stick to adjust your aim. Right, right, these are controllers. I know how to work these out already, so not a big problem here. So what we're supposed to do is just kind of, like, um, teach us the basics in terms of, um, investigating the area around us. So if I hit, let's see, it's triangle, right? Yeah. This will give me a look of, uh, what I can actually check out in the area ahead of me. What the heck? In any normal classroom, that's where a window should be. But it looks like some kind of metal blade has been bolted over it. Fucking literally, too. That is indeed bolted in there. And if I were to knock on it... Yup, definitely metal. Thick, dude. Very solid. Wait, that's not what matters here. More importantly, why are there metal plates over the windows? Good question. Very good question. Uh, let's see, we could check out... Was that a fucking camera in the classroom? Is that a surveillance camera? It's a dangerous world we live in. I guess they have to keep these weirdos from just wandering in. No, I don't think that's probably the reason why. <laughs> I don't think you have a camera in the middle of the classroom that way. We also have a note here. That's the desk I fell asleep on. I can still see a line of drool I must have left there. Ah, you and me both, buddy. I have to clean up. I'll have to clean that up later. Hey, what's that on the desk? An orientation guide. It's some kind of cheap-looking pamphlet, and there's something handwritten on it. The next semester is about to start. Starting today, the school will be your entire world. What the hell? Is this someone's idea of a joke? Let's see, what time is it? We had a meeting at 8 o'clock, though, right? Jeez, I can't believe it's 8 o'clock already. It was just after 7 when I first got here. Has it really been almost an hour since then? Hey, you're a deep sleeper, dude. What can you say? Okay, let's see. So I might... So what might have happened is, I got myself so wound up, I passed out in the main hall, and then someone carried me here? If that's true, it must mean this is a classroom inside Hope's Peak. But then if that's true, that just raises more questions. This is all really strange. I mean, those metal plates covering the windows, it's like it's a prison or something. None of this makes any sense. I should probably head back to the main hall. It's already past the meeting time, there might be other students there now. Alright, I can leave the class now. Let's go ahead and do that. Jeez, this hallway is kind of weird, too. This is getting stranger by the second. I honestly have no idea what's going on. Well, for now, I just head to the main hall. Yeah, yeah, I, I, know, I know how to walk. I know how to walk, game! I know how to walk. Use my legs. So, the main hall, right? Our map is going to indicate that that's going to be down through here, if I am correct. I'm using a gamepad for this game. For some reason, I think they're going to patch this in, but if you use your keyboard and mouse, it's really hard to move forward. You can only move sideways, so you kind of have to do this whole weird WD motion to work, walk like in a diagonal way. It's really weird. I hope they patch that up really soon here, but I'm using a gamepad to avoid that issue. This will be the main hall. All right. By the time I got back to the main hall, Everyone else was already there. Whoa, hey! Another new kid? That is quite the ensemble of people here. Huh? Then you guys are all... Yeah. We're all new here. Today's supposed to be our first day of class. So, counting him, that makes 15. Seems like a good cutoff point, but I wonder if this is everyone. Standing before me were the ultimate students that had been handpicked by the school. I looked around at everyone who'd gathered here, taking in their faces one at a time. 
Maybe I was just imagining it, but I swear I could feel a kind of aura coming from each of them. I like how everything kind of builds up around you, like in terms of uh, what you're going to be investigating. It's pretty neat. Um, how's it going? My name's Makoto Naegi. Sorry I'm late, a bunch of stuff happened, and then all of a sudden I was just... asleep. Huh? Whoa, you too? Hmm. Things just keep getting curiouser and curiouser. Mm -hmm. So strange, I declare beyond a shadow of a doubt that this is a strange situation indeed. Uh, what are you talking about? I honestly have no idea what's going on right now. Got it! Just a moment, there's something else we must address. Listen to me! Makoto! Your tardiness is unacceptable. Surely you were aware the meeting was to start at 8 a.m. sharp. To be late on your first day is unspeakable. I must report you and you must accept your due punishment. All right, Debbie Downer, will you relax here a little bit? What are you, like, the teacher's pet already? What? What's your problem? It's not like he wanted to be late. He didn't have any control over it. That's right! Everyone just calm down. Listen, why don't we all go around and introduce ourselves? Huh? The hell? Now's no time for freaking introductions. <laughs> Maybe, but it may be a good to at least find out who we are all before digging into the bigger problems here. I mean, how are we even supposed to talk to each other if we don't know each other's names? Yeah. That's a good point. Um... Okay, I, I, I'm sorry that I can't do multiple female voices. It's kind of difficult for me to go with my voice that low, so or high, I guess. So they all sound the same, what can I say? Okay, so let's get introductions out of the way. Then we can move on to whatever sounds, whatever else. Sounds good? I'm still totally lost, but I think it's best to just focus on getting to know each other for now. So I guess this is as good a chance as I'm gonna get. I already looked everyone up on that Host Peak Academy thread online, but... I still don't really know what kind of people they actually are. Time to find out. I'll start by talking to those five over there. Alright, yeah, 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 I got it. We get to introduce ourselves over here. Let's talk to old cutie Sayaka Maizono. Hi, I'm Sayaka Maizono. I look forward to getting to know you. See, that would be nice if you all the females talk all the time, so I don't have to, like, you know, make myself look like a fool over here. She's the ultimate pop sensation. All right. The way she moves is positively mesmerizing, and that pleasant scent I can't quite place. Sayaka Maizono. When I saw her name in that thread online, frankly, I was pretty surprised. She's in a pop group famous all across the country. In fact, she's their lead singer. And the ultimate pop sensation, she's in high demand to appear on TV and in magazines everywhere. But actually, that's not the only reason I was so surprised to find out she'd be going to this school. I'm sure she doesn't remember, but... Well, never mind. No matter how you slice it, she's really beautiful. Almost like a doll or something. I'm not a doll, you know, I'm alive. Huh? Did you hear me? I... I'm psychic. Huh? <laughs> Kidding, I just have a really good intuition. She's a sharp one. Hey, um... Huh, hey, by any chance? Now what? Huh? Yeah, it must be, I'm sure of it. Hey, Makoto, did... Just hold on! Jeez, you guys, how long do you plan to waste your valuable time with your ridiculous back and forth? <laughs> S sorry I just got carried away, I guess. You hear me? Self-introductions are for introducing yourself, not bumbling through a bunch of idle chit-chat. Um, you're right. Sorry. Sorry, Makoto. We can talk about this later. It sounded like Sayaka really had something she wanted to say. But it's, li it's not like we'll never see each other again. Like she said, we can talk later. No, dog. He's fucking up my game over here. She was probably gonna, you know, she probably found me cute as the ultimate average dude. I'm over here in cock block. We have uh, Hifumi Yamada. Let's talk to this guy. I am Hifumi Yamada. But if you want to call me by my nickname, the Alpha and the Omega. I don't mind. That's your nickname, the Alpha and the Omega. You're the beginning and the end. All right, Hifumi. What are you supposed to be? The ultimate fanfic creator. Mm -hmm. You're the ultimate otaku, aren't you? Yeah, you are. Uh, how was your voice again? By the way, how much do you know about the world of 2D art? Close enough, maybe. World of 2D? <laughs> well, in that world, I am well-known and supremely well-regarded as the ultimate fanfic creator. Mm -hmm. I once sold 10,000 copies of one of my fan comics at a school festival. The event has passed into legend. Hmm. Some of them didn't get it, of course, saying I'd be tainted. The event, how stupid can you be? 
That's too bad about them, but selling 10,000 copies like that is definitely pretty remarkable. However... The words of such idiots mean nothing to me. I am luck I am like Van Gogh, utterly unappreciated in my time. I am a soldier serving night and day to destroy all mindless preconceptions about fan fiction. I'm sure if you were to observe my work, Mr. Nagy, you would completely comprehend its greatness immediately. Mm -hmm. For my work is filled with deepest meaning. Uh, what, what kind of meaning? Yes, indeed. It's about embracing our basis urges. I don't think I want to comprehend it. <laughs> Alrighty, let's, uh, let's talk to uh, Toko Fukaya. She looks a little bit um, down on her luck here. Ah, you're a little bit of an introvert, aren't you, Toko? The ultimate writing prodigy. Yeah, she wrote a novel when she was 10 that got everyone talking and launched her literary career. Then two years ago, she released So Lingers the Ocean, a love story said to be her masterpiece. The book was such a hit with women that fishermen quickly shot to the top of every hottest men poll. Despite her age, she's won countless literary prizes and all her books are instant bestsellers. Which is why she's, coming to, she's been come to known as the ultimate writing prodigy. What else would you call such a young and talented author? But I figured she'd be a lovely, lovey-dovey type, what with her masterpiece being a romance and all. <laughs> What's your problem? O what? It's not polite to stare, you know. What the heck? Stop staring at me! Like, I'm some filthy creature. Uh, filthy creature? No, I, I just thought... I, I know what you just thought. You just thought you'd never seen such an ugly woman. You just thought it was so funny. Uh, no, no, that's not what I was thinking at all. I'm telling you! Don't bother trying to lie to me. I know it's true. Otherwise, you... I, I know you can't stand looking at me. Anyway... Well, whatever. I don't really care. Uh, I'm used to it. Wow, talk about an inferiority complex. I was way off about what a successful author would be like. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. How long have we gone here? I feel like I've just been doing a lot of reading and we're not really getting too much into the progress here. It's a, it's a, as I mentioned, a really story-based heavy game, so we have to meet all these people. That's gonna take a while as well, especially because I have to do all the reading. So, um, you know, it's not really a good representation of everything else you do in the game. Uh, maybe I'll do another video down the line where I show off the, um, the Phoenix Wright-ish type of um, gameplay I mentioned. But this is um, the introduction to Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc, if I'm correct, if I got that name correct here. Um, I'm, I'm digging the mystery so far. I haven't gotten too far beyond this point. I got all the introductions on off camera, and um, I started to move around and do some exploring. But that's as far as I got before I record this video. And as you can see, there's still a lot of um, progress here to be done. But hey! I just wanted to check it out because I'm really curious about it, and you know, I actually did find it pretty interesting so far, so there is that. If you want to check out more about the game, description below is going to have all the information about it. And um, hey, if you want to see some more, let me know. Maybe we'll um, try it out. I don't know, I'm actually quite interested about it, but we'll see how it goes. Hope you guys enjoyed it, leave a thumbs up, I will catch you next time!